Hey everyone, it's Justin Creek from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today I'm down on a cold Tuesday morning in Heritage Park located in the Columbus Historic District, standing in front of one of the original Bickerstaff family brick kilns uh, that was originally located on the Bickerstaff Brickyard on the uh, Phoenix City side of the river where uh, the main operation was located. This brick kiln was moved here in the 1990s uh, when Heritage Park was being put together and is a great example of uh, how bricks were made in the mid to late 1800s, at least at the Bickerstaff um, Brickyard, which was one of the largest family owned brick making businesses in the world. But this brick kiln is a great example and a good way to show people how bricks were made back in the late 1800s. And what made me think of it um, was walking downtown, I saw a few buildings the other day that had some bricks that were deteriorating, that were crumbling in the facade. And it's kind of interesting because you'll see a soft brick, one that's kind of turning to dust and clay, right next to uh, some other bricks that are um, relatively intact and, and look just like they should. And you wonder, well, why is that one brick starting to crumble? Well. In many cases, it's because of how the bricks were fired. When bricks were being made, of course, you would form them in wood blocks um, and they, they were made of clay and the dried clay bricks were put into a kiln like this and a fire was started underneath and around the bricks. They were just put in a pile in the center. Well, the bricks that were in the middle of the, uh, of the kiln might not get quite as hot and might not cure quite as hard. And so what that meant over time was that um, as they were used in, in building, some of those uh, softer bricks that didn't get quite as uh, cured and hardened would begin to decay and that's what we're seeing in some of the brickwork today and so those those bricks eventually will need to be replaced uh, with a with a better more um, hard cured brick and so that's how these brick kilns uh, used to operate and uh, if you want to find out more about this history and more about different in early industries in columbus make sure you check out our history spotlight series that comes via email that our executive director, Elizabeth Walden, puts together every week. If you're not on that email list and would like to be, uh, shoot us an email at hcfinc at historiccolumbus.com and just drop us a note to, to let us know to put your email address on that distribution list. We'd love to have you follow along. And with that, we will see you all next Tuesday.